Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. We are in the tour van today, uh, trying out, testing out uh, some new tailor-made Sim 2 fairway woods, new for 2021. This is an exciting day. Uh, any day with new tailor-made equipment is exciting. So the tailor-made Sim 2 fairway woods, Thomas, uh, they look awesome, first of all, but um, looking to build off of a, a tailor-made Sim from last year, and those were awesome as well. So building off of that, it's a tough challenge. The expectations are pretty high, but tailor-made always delivers. So um, this should be a good test, I think, and I'm, I'm excited to see what we find out today. Yeah, you mentioned comparing to the Sim fairway woods one thing we kind of noticed is just that cleaner look. When we're testing the driver mm -hmm. here today, we got a chance to hit the Sim 2 driver. Just looked a little bit cleaner. You know, mm -hmm. I really like that darker finish on, on top of the crown there, looking down at. And just cleaned up a few things. Just mm -hmm. looks a little bit, little bit cleaner looking down at. Yeah, so the three models that we're, you know, we're gonna have Thomas test and we're gonna discuss today. Um, the tailor-made Sim 2 Titanium. So that's kind of the, um, your, your faster, lower spinning, uh, fairy wood out there. There's only three loft offerings, and that's 14, 15, and 19 degrees. Um, and so that's going to be fit, fit in for those uh, high swing speed players. And then you get kind of to the two really, the two models that are really packed with forgiveness. So the Sim 2 Max, um, which has a bunch of loft offerings for both men and women. Um, and then the Sim 2 Max D, which is again the sort of that draw bias, um, kind of with more weight in the heel also packed with a ton of forgiveness there as well. So those are the three models testing today um, and the three models available for TaylorMade Sim 2 Fairy Woods. And, you know, Thomas, I, you know, based on what you know about these clubs a little bit, what do you think we'll expect in the testing today? I think you touched on it, like this, the Sim 2 tie distance. I'm gonna expect super distance out of that. Mm -hmm. It's got that high strength titanium face. Yep. It's gonna go super far. Uh, forgiveness with the, the Sim Max, gonna be probably fairly forgiving on the miss hits. And then the Sim Max D, probably expect that thing to draw pretty easily for me. Maybe launch a little higher, spin a little higher, mm -hmm. but just be really forgiving, easy to hit. We'll touch on the shafts as well as we uh, start the testing, but I'm excited for this one, Thomas. This will be good. And again, TaylorMade delivers every single year with their woods. So uh, one more reminder as well before we start the test, uh, we encourage all golfers that enjoy our videos, enjoy our reviews of the new products and really any of our videos on our channel to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we really appreciate you watching our videos, engaging with our content, and we love putting it together for you. So, uh, Thomas, let's get after this, huh? Let's do it. Okay, Thomas, you've got the three TaylorMade Sim 2 Fairy Woods. Um, now they've they've kind of, you know, they brought back some of that B-Steel technology, which actually was introduced back in like the mid 2000s. They've brought it back and kind of refined it, but you're looking at all three right now. Um, what do you take away from the appearance of them before hitting shots with any of them? And maybe can you kind of recall what they look like compared to the original Sim? Yeah, compared to the original Sim, the Sim tie and the Sim Max were definitely different in size. Mm -hmm. So the Sim tie is going to be can you lower spinning, your faster yeah. ball speed, faster club speed player, where the Sim Max is going to be a little more on the forgive, forgiving side. Right. But Interesting because the Sim Max, a lot of tour pros players played that particular they model did. there mm -hmm. as well. And then you also have adjustability with the Sim, or with the Sim Tie mo models versus the Max models. Now yeah. with the Sim Two Titanium, there you can't adjust the the weight, just kind of like the driver, so it's kind of fixed where it is. Um, but you'll notice the weights push forward a little bit on this particular model. You still have the adjustability with the hosel setting. Yeah. So you still have the adjustability with the Sim Tie Two. Where the Sim Max 2 doesn't have that adjustability. It's just a kind of like a fixed hosel that they've got going forward. And then you can definitely notice the weight difference a little bit. Yeah. This particular model just feels kind of slightly on the, on the heavier side there as well. So um, looking down at address as well, you can really notice the size difference. There is 20 cc in, in size compa comparing okay. the two of them. So the Sim Titanium 2. That's got 177 cc's. Okay. And where the Sim Max 2 is 190 cc's. So there's quite some differences yeah. in the size comp comparing the models. That's actually 190 is kind of a, it's pretty large for a, for, we're, we got the three woods here, but yep. um, that is regardless of, you know, that's still a pretty large club head size for a fairy wood. So have to imagine, and we'll talk about the kind of the features, but there is some forgiveness packed in there. Um, and then we can just briefly touch on the, um, 
you know, the SIM2 Max D or D type is sort of the, you know, the draw bias type, more weight in the heel, and that's going to be super forgiving and very lightweight as well. So those are the three models, and I think now we can start hitting some shots. Um, we can maybe go over, you know, the shafts are in each one for, for this test. Yep. But, um, we can go through and, you know, because there's going to be a difference based on the shaft, of course, but it's not going to be a perfect test, but we're going to compare the club heads, see the performance, and uh, give some, you know, some, some feedback here. Yeah, the shafts I've got are the stock options for the SIM2 models. Um, so with the SIM2 Titanium, we got the Tanzai AV Blue. Mm -hmm. So these are all stiff flex shafts. So this is the 65 AV Blue. For the SIM2 Max, I've got the Ventus Fairway Blue 6S. And then uh, this shaft definitely doesn't quite fit my, <laughs> my, my style here. This is the Air Speeder um, 45. So it's going to be fairly light. Yeah, that's um, for the, the, that's, the Max D. That's for the Max D. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's the only stock option for the, for the, for the Mac, Max D. I'll hit it. Yeah. Just so we can kind of compare numbers, but we know that the with this shaft profile is not going to be perfect. Right. When we get more fitting components in, then we'll be able to do a little more testing with golf shaft that mm -hmm. kind of fits more my swing speed. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So um, why don't we start with the, we'll start with the Sim 2 Max. Okay. Kind of hit maybe five shots there and we'll uh, see what happens. Sounds good. That, that was sounded, a bit better. That sounded awesome. Yeah. I'll be the first to admit those first two swings were not very good. But it does show That was show a very quiet the sound. Like, the first two, the contact on the first two seemed louder and kind yep. of, um, yeah, it just was louder and more tingy. That one was just a bit like a thud. Yeah. The ball speed was about four, four to six miles mm -hmm. an hour less than those first two swings. So. Yeah. All right. Well, Thomas, that's five shots with the Sim 2 Max Prewood. Uh, just give me your first impression on the feel, you know, sound, look, everything that you noticed right away, and then we'll kind of talk about maybe the numbers and then sort of the, the technology as well. Yeah, it feels very easy to hit. As I mentioned, my first two shots were not very good. They're probably one of the worst fairy wood shots that I've seen <laughs> that I've actually hit in a, in a while, those first two shots. You can kind of see the ball speed that dropped, actually dropped by about seven or eight miles an hour. So yeah. kind of a big, big drop there overall. But the kind of the level of forgiveness, you really couldn't tell if you're going to look at this dispersion screen. Right. If you're going to look at maybe even the total distance, you, really, you can kind of see that they're kind of hovering around about two, just under 280 to 290. And that was all five shots. Mm -hmm. So even those, you couldn't really pick out the two ones that I miss hit. Right, so that exactly. shows the level of forgiveness with this particular model. So. Yeah, so and one thing to note um, with the SIM2 Max, so it's different from the tie, right? I mean, the SIM2 Titanium gets its name from the titanium, Zatec titanium material that is on the club face. Yep. And so this, the, the material for the club face with the SIM2 Max is different. Uh, C300, kind of a, a strong steel. Uh, club face there. They both have the twist face kind of shaping to them, but um, so that's a little different there. So you might see or feel uh, a difference there, but something to note uh, of there, and of course the difference also in V-Steel, so they kind of have a different shape of the V-Steel on the Sim Max and the, or the Sim 2 Max and the Sim 2 Max D. So like the kind of, um, it's a little bit more uh, pronounced, if you will. Uh, so that there's differences there, but you know, you talk about the forgiveness, the stability, you know, I think, and I, I, would, I also commented when you were hitting the, the sound, when you really hit the center was like a nice powerful thud that I think was very pleasing, at least for me, in my personal opinion. So yeah. I think a solid review for that after five shots. Yeah, I mean, I know it's a little larger footprint than the, the Thai model was going to be, but that level of forgiveness that I got, uh, for me, I, I know I'd not hit those first yeah. two shots well and for sure the fact that I look up and like I can't really pick those apart so yeah that to me is important you can't really test that V steel sole too much off mm -hmm. artificial right, mat yeah, yeah. there as well but I can definitely see the potential there for forgiveness mm -hmm. of those of that turf interaction yeah because a big piece of the V steel is the turf interaction and of course in a you know on uh, artificial turf in here um, you know you can only get so much out of that but um, 
that that is another piece of that and it's supposed to you know again especially on the the sim 2 max and the sim 2 max d models really help kind of out of any uh surface any type of turf you know bunkers even uh to really help the club glide through there so um but that's you know that's kind of all the technology that's packed in there but it's that's a pretty good looking club and good performing club yeah forgiving easy to hit what else really can you ask for right yeah. right and uh now we can get to the sim 2 titanium yeah well want. i mentioned what else can i ask for maybe a little more distance this might give us a little bit more distance all right so, yeah well let's see right. let's see Crack the 300. All right, mark. yeah, I, like we were, I was, I was chomping at the bit there to see if you would get over that 300 number, and there it is. <laughs> that was hit. That was hit solid. That was yeah, nice. Yeah, that was good. So yeah. okay, once again, I'll ask you for you know your first impression on look and feel. Maybe compare that to the Sim 2 Max as well. Yeah, so compared it to the Max, a little little smaller profile, definitely looking down at. Um, definitely doesn't feel like it's maybe quite as forgiving. Now, it's been giving enough on those off-center hits. I think it was like shot three mm -hmm. that I hit with this particular one. I hit low on the face. I was worried it was going to kind of balloon and not go as far. But the spin stayed down. So that was kind of important to know. That's still forgiving even though it's yeah. maybe not going to be as forgiving as the, as the max hit's mm -hmm. going to be. Um, sound, I feel, it sounded quieter. For me, yeah, I think so. Seemed like it was mute, more muted, quieter sound versus the max. That could be just uh, a result of a smaller club head, um, potentially. Yep. I'm not. I mean, I'm not a you know golf club engineer necessarily, but um, <laughs> that's just one theory, I guess. But uh, but you're right about that. That third shot you hit. So here's where it went. Okay. Yep. The I mean, it, one of the straightest shots so far. Uh, you can see the height did drop a little bit. So like. As you're saying, you know, low on the club face, and we can go here actually see the location it was hit. Definitely low on the club face, yep. right? And generally, at least from what you've seen, um, that would result in higher spin. You look over here. Yeah, 2700 among among the lowest spinning shots with yeah. the three wood. Yeah, that, so, that's impressive. The fact that that you mm -hmm. know it. You can see the, the carry distance and total distance kind of fit right in there with yeah. kind of the average yeah. for, for, for a miss hit, which is getting kind of important. Right, yeah. And, um, I mean, and of course, you did crack 300 with your last shot there in total distance. Um, and then in terms of, like, height, spin, things are kind of matching up, right? What we would think, you know, this the Sim 2 tie is kind of your lower spinning one. Um, it did have lower spin. Now, not a giant difference in yep. this test in these five, uh, 10 shots, but then, you know, height was almost 20 feet uh you know lower so lower yeah um that's uh i think that's pretty indicative of what we would expect given what you know we know about the clubs uh with the technology involved and then the building and the construction but um i'm gonna see also too how spin helps you control it and height helps how you can control it a little bit straighter you can see with the, the sim 2 mm -hmm. max take a look on the right the dispersion that white circle is about half the size yeah. of the yellow circle. So that's important to note. Yes, the Sim 2 titanium is going to titanium is going to go further, but it's not going to make me as forgiving on those on, the, on those miss hits. Right. I was yep. lucky the one that I miss hit that was low on the face. I kept my face pretty straight, so yeah. it flew nice and straight. But you can definitely see how that dispersion pattern was a yeah. little bit larger overall with the yep. tight just, two just versus. Just a little yep. bit less forgiveness with the Sim yep. 2 tie. Uh, just by the way it's built and it's gonna you know if you're hitting a hook it's gonna hook more with the sim 2 tie and if you hit a slice it's gonna slice more with the sim 2 tie yep. but uh with that comes workability with that comes lower spin and lower ball flight as well so um now you know like you mentioned before the the sim 2 max d that we you know we've got with us uh the shaft doesn't necessarily fit your game but we're gonna try it out see what it uh <laughs> see see what uh See what numbers pop out uh, on TrackMan for us. We'll hit some shots yeah. and see what happens. But maybe, I'll, maybe I'll slow my swing down just a little bit and just and hit a few shots and see how, mm -hmm. if that draw bias really kind of works with this yeah. model. Yeah, so, sure. Let's, yep. let's see what we can do here. Yep.
pretty similar bull flight every single time there. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, they, it's a Sim 2 Max D or D type draw bias for a reason because yep. it's going to help you turn the ball right to left. And I know you don't need the help to do that, but um, you know, it's, these are the in these tests, right? You're swinging the club as if you're trying to hit the ball as straight as possible, and in these, everyone for one, all of them ended up on the left side of the center line, and all of them. If I can bring up what I'm trying to bring up here, um, all of them curved to the left, pretty significant amount. And so draw bias is there. It is going to resist that slice or that fade that someone might yep. hit and doesn't want to, um, which is the goal of this club. Now, you know, I think you maybe let up a little bit on sort of the swing speed that you, um, with the Sim 2 tie and Sim 2 max, kind of let up a little bit just to kind of give us a good indication of what the club is supposed to do and supposed to provide and essentially that is an easy smooth uh easy to launch golf shot golf club with yep. the sim 2 max yeah i really try to let up i try to swing really really mm -hmm. slow and it's kind of interesting how i tried to swing slower and it only dropped about four or five miles an hour of, of club speed it's right. kind of interesting because i felt like i was swinging at about 50 percent yeah um but we can kind of see some general trends a little higher launch even though i was swinging slower yeah you'd expect slower swing speed maybe a launch a little bit lower but this particular model is designed to launch fairly high in the air yep. spin rate was also quite high as well mm -hmm. and i'm really impressed with the spin consistency on this particular model there was one that i slightly miss hit there i think it was uh i think it was shot 13 shot the third shot i hit notice how the spin rates kind of stayed the same notice yeah. the carry distance dropped a little bit there but the height, the launch, the landing angle, everything was still very good with this particular model, even on the miss hit. So very, very forgiving, mm -hmm. very well. Yeah, yeah, and that's, I mean, that's what you're, you're looking for out of a club that's supposed to be forgiving, is just give me similar performance because, you know, you might not, I might not be a golfer that hits the center of the face every time, and so I want similar performance if I hit the ball slightly on the toe or slightly high on the face. Yep. Um, I want something similar, and it looks like I mean, it is the smallest dispersion circle up there, um, with the next one being the Sim Max, Sim 2 Max. So, I mean, your forgiving clubs are the ones kind of helping out the most on the miss hits. And then if you're chasing distance and, you know, low spin, Sim 2 tie based on this uh, test here is sort of the, the gamer for you. And I think that's what TaylorMade was going for with these three models. Yeah, no, I, c I completely agree. This is a good option for the player that slices the ball, but also mm -hmm. a player that needs a little help getting the ball up in the air as well. Um, this particular golf shaft is going to be a good combo for those slower swing speed players there as well too. So yeah. your speeder, you know, I feel like I slowed my swing as very, very slow down, but I generated some dual generation speed. So yeah. even though I was slowing my speed, the light golf shaft helped kind of catch mm -hmm. up a little bit there too and get that club face nice and square or even a little bit closed to close, yep. the, to close the draw. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, t you know, Taylor made metal woods, right? I mean, they kind of had the breakthrough with metal woods back in the day and um, they've only been uh, one of the best in the industry in terms of drivers fairway woods since then and you know sim was awesome both drivers fairways um, hybrids and it seems like sim 2 is kind of heading in that direction as well for 2021 so um, three awesome models here and again it's for golfers that would you know like to upgrade to sim 2 fairway woods um, a if you have an older model something that you play now that maybe you've watch this video and realize I kind of want an upgrade or I want something better for my game. You can trade that fairywood into Second Swing, either online at secondswing.com through the Second Swing Value Guide or bring uh, the clubs into one of our five store locations. Uh, and then uh, also can stop in the store and talk to one of our experts um, at our store or contact our team online. We'll get you a fit for a tailor-made Sim 2 fairywood that is right for your game.